Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of my dev playthrough of Railroads Online. And you might notice that I'm standing in the middle of a canyon where the end of track is, and you're right. I recently polled on my community page to see if you guys would rather see some advanced track laying or trains running over that track, and it seemed about 50-50, so I've done about 50-50. I've built the first half of this alignment going down to the smelter, the climb up from the sawmill to this ridiculous location, and I'm going to build the route downhill now for you guys. Then we'll run a train over the whole thing while we do some Q&A. So let's get to it. So one thing to note with this <laughs> with this plan is that uh, this is kind of the summit of our railroad. And uh, it was 4% on the way up. So it's probably going to be about 4% on the way down. And you can see the, the smelter right there. So uh, I think we're going to end up with something that looks vaguely like the Georgetown Loop. And certainly lots of use of the stone wall. So I'm going to set this at 4% and just kind of try and follow the terrain the best we can. I kind of like to try and hide the inside edge in the ground. I think it looks better if you can get it that way, but you're not always able to do that. And a lot of times when you're building these alignments that are super close to the edge, you end up having to kind of make it piece by piece. Making, you know, a small section and then confirming it, and then another small section and then confirming it, so... That way you can walk along what you've built. So this looks decently wide through here. Um, I've built I've built a Georgetown loop adjacent alignment around here before, um, and I, I can't remember exactly where I did my turnaround because you need to turn around twice. We're basically putting a 360 degree circle, just ramming it in this canyon. I think we're going to want to have our second turn, the lower level turn, somewhere down here, and that the first one kind of up there, I think. So. So we're gonna do that. And I'm wondering if it'll look better as a bridge or as a stone wall, but... Ooh, that is a bit of a kink, not a curve. So we'll patch it with a smidge that's a little steeper than 4%. I think that's gonna look better as a bridge, but I'm gonna leave my end point, I think, here. Make sure I have that. And this is what I mean about kind of having to build it piece by piece. Got to make sure you have places to stand. <laughs> oh, I've got to set it to demolish groundwork, not rails. Oh, that was almost da dangerous. All right, so we want to end up over there. Well, let's let's not fall down the pit, shall we? You don't want to fall down in this canyon. It's a it's a long way down. Bit of scaffolding, really. If it'll let me, come on. I was trying to build it too short. There we go. So someone was giving me a tip the other day, and apparently if you lay the whole bridge first and then uh, change its gradient, they lay it the correct gradient. Don't fall down the hill. Don't fall down the hill. <laughs> so we're going to try that real quick. Go there, and then there, and yeah, that's actually pretty spot on. Although that's not really what I want that bridge to look like. <laughs> this is the, the fun challenge of mountain railroad onlining, as it were. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, hang on. Learn our lessons. So we want to start with it kind of kicked. Bridges start with angle snap on. Okay, so that, now we've got a good visual of what we want it to do overall. It'll be a smoother curve. Get the final node in place. And 4% grade. And that matches what our groundwork did. So I think that I think that's a good tip. So definitely try that from now on. <laughs> and now we continue on with this madness. 
All right. Can I get two set? No. This is going to be very piecewise for a second here. This is uh, by no means a smart route or an easy route or one that the railroad would have done had the <laughs> they had the option that we have with the uh, the kind of cut that most people take. But uh, this canyon is very pretty and I thought it would look pretty and that's about all of my reasoning for doing this, so. <laughs> all right, are we gonna turn here? Is this the, the start of the bridge, do we think? This kind of looks like it might be the widest point. Okay, this is gonna be a, a, a poop show, as we say in the industry. Okay, so we don't wanna lay it on a grade. Or maybe we do, I'll just set the grade to 2%. Give you a bit of a respite. Okay, yep, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go down to the canyon. And, how tall of a bridge is it? Objectively too tall, okay. Yeah, all right, so we need to build a bridge for the bridge. About that height, maybe? hard to see now. I'm trying to gauge the curvature. I don't want to have, have anything that's too stupidly sharp. But at the same time, we have to turn around in the in the space allotted, so. This will be our scaffolding for the time being. Let's see if we can't get rid of some trees to see what the heck we're doing. <laughs> uh, now, now I need to get back up there. Okay, so let me show you the the advanced technique for this. It's called building lots of ramps. I always recommend leaving these up until you're uh, done building your alignment, um, and or forever, just in case you accidentally drop your choo choo down the canyon, and then you can go get it later. <laughs> or you can just be like the railroad and just leave it in the bottom of the canyon for the rest of eternity. My my bridge for the bridge is a little too short, actually, is what it is. Well, we can fix that by stacking another bridge on that bridge. Don't you know? This is going to look a little silly, I think, but that's okay. It's got layers. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, I don't think any of us had any of the things that people do in this game in mind with bridges uh, when we, we first set out to do it. We are like, yeah, people just, you know, they're going to play like a train simulator and they're just going to lay something that looks realistic. And then it's like people have laid their entire routes just entirely with <laughs> steel bridges running everywhere. It's just like, oh, surprised Pikachu face. Did I really not build it high enough again? Oh yeah, no, I was just having trouble clicking on it. Okay. <laughs> what I really ought to do is run two more trusses um, afterwards where the supports go. So it kind of looks like it's vaguely supported by something. Okay, it's right about now that I wish I could be up top to see the curvature and height of this beast. Oh, that looks hideous. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to do some figuring out on some of that. But that's about where we want. And now let's uh, let's make another pile of ramps, shall we? Okay, you know from this far away that doesn't look half bad. It looks a little silly, but I think we could clean it up later. He says, knowing full well, he probably won't clean it up later. Resume our 4% grade shenanigans here. No, I didn't want you to do that. You know, that might have been a decent way to do it, is to build scaffolding to actually lay the, uh, the groundworks on. Rather than just trying to lay them on the side, that might not be a bad way to do it. But that's not the way that I've done it before. But might be a, a handy tip. Somebody, one of you guys can try that and report back and see how it works for you. 
<laughs> yeah, so we've got this lump in the bridge. <laughs> but see, now we have the, uh, we've got the whole bridge laid now, so now we can just set the same gradient and uh, just kind of fix it after the fact. Yeah, look, see, now, now I'm having to place at 4% to match. And then we delete the weird part. And look, it's vaguely fine. We're gonna get to put a bridge deck over top of this so you won't see these. So we'll just uh, we'll just leave that as is. And somebody's having an aneurysm somewhere, I'm sure, but oh boy. <gasps> oh no, no, oh, okay. Down, down, down we go. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> MLG, all right. Pay no mind to the man stuck inside the box dress. All right. Oh, and so I was doing some math on this earlier too. Um, I really cannot recommend doing this approach uh, this early in the game like I am. I do have a surprise for you. I do have a second locomotive now because I spent a little time on my Twitch streams uh, running loads so that I would have a new locomotive to do something like this because I knew that I wanted to have a bit of a, a silly railroad to build for you guys. But, um, yeah, yeah, even so, it's it's the Eureka, so it's, um, it's not gutsy, put it that way. 4% is just uh, not conducive to hauling lots of freight, but it is very narrow gauge. All right, looks like we really need to be doing a turnaround right now. Not sure where that end of that spline is, but I need to have my bridge start doing things about here. So I'm going to get rid of that piece. We managed to overlap that pretty well. And then this is going to have to be a steel truss again, I'm sure. And we'll pre-kick it a little bit. <laughs> and down the pit we go. Oh, it's almost tall enough to co cover this naturally now. <laughs> this is a challenging angle to hit because I'm trying to see and I'm actually cocking my head in real life too which is hilarious I'm trying to see if uh, that's going to be an okay turn and it looks like it's going to be yeah alright and now can I get up there without cancelling the spline it'd be great if we could uh, not have to build something to get up there so I could keep this nice and smooth Little did you know that this narrow gauge railroading simulator is also actually a platformer. Here we go! <laughs> Somebody start making Mario sounds. Whoa! Oh, Boing. oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Boing. All right. Just keep that space bar. <laughs> keep Boing. it on cooldown. <laughs> Oh, that curve might not have actually been sharp enough. Whoa! Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to confirm the spline because... Because <laughs> uh, that's getting a little silly. Yeah, <laughs> why bridge when you could just fill the entire canyon in? Yeah, this, this whole bridge has to be a really sharp curve. And that last segment that I could har hardly see was not near sharp enough. Probably shouldn't have made a small piece like that. Oh, I can't jump on that yet. Right. I always wonder where the comments of, well, you should make it so that, uh, you know, you can run on the stuff that you haven't placed yet. And it's like, well, I understand where that feeling comes from because I just did it. Um, but at the same time, like, if you think of the ramifications of everything, having hitboxes that are dynamic and moving, and then trying to have that work nicely in a multiplayer game. Mm, yeah, it's, uh, it's not brilliant. Good Christ. <laughs> this is a difficult level in this platforming game. I can hear the acapella Super Mario theme song in the background from Super Mario Sunshine. Something burned into my memory. 
Yeah, that didn't come out as smooth as we wanted it to. Let's try and keep... Keep iterating on this chunk O bridge. Give us some options as far as track goes, and then uh, we'll delete the rest. <laughs> Back to our regularly scheduled programming once again. That is one of the nice things about working on the slope, as annoying as it can be in other ways. Uh, you don't have too many trees to delete, because trees can't spawn on, you know, <laughs> 60 degree angles or whatever they are. I have to pad the width out right there, I think. <laughs> There's a trebuchet hidden in those rocks. I know that the uh, the kind of piecewise segmented stone wall doesn't look terribly brilliant, but when you kind of run the track all over the place on it, on top of it at the end, it doesn't look half bad and you're not going to notice the little pieces, so. We've come into our own scaffolding here, so I'm going to have to delete that. And I should probably set this to groundwork so that I don't accidentally delete that bridge, because that would be a pain in the butt to redo. Hmm. So we kind of have to shoot one of the gaps in the box section, and we didn't, didn't really put one in a terribly advantageous location. I think I'm going to have to go back up there and lay some half half splines that don't have the box section there. Yeah, because we're not going to be able to make that angle right there. And I don't mind if um, I've got so much of the terrain clipping through like this piece back here, because there's still enough space for the, the track to be supported and everything, so. And if it looks too bad, I can come back and add extra groundwork. I always think that the groundwork is uh, the rough first pass. Oh, man, we're gonna get to the, the smelter and we're still gonna have to go down, I think. We might, um, I might want to get to the other side of this canyon through, like, with a straight bridge coming up right here. Again, I'm going to lay it on 2% because that seems to be laying it a bit more what I'm expecting it to do. Uh, and again, we're probably going to have to edit the, the bridge once we get back up there, because I'm sure that the, the curvature is a little wonky. I'm leaving it with the snap off so that I can place the bents where I need them. Although I guess I can go back to it now, maybe that I'm aimed a bit more in the right direction. Oh man, that, that almost came out about perfect. Nobody tell OSHA that this is how we build railroads on the, the good old ES and D. Actually, nobody tell uh, OSHA what ES and D stands for. And if you want to know what it stands for and you still don't, you probably haven't seen one of my live streams. I stream over on Twitch every now and then at uh, twitch.tv slash heist777. 
But uh, you'll get to learn what that stands for later in the episode if you hang around till we get to the train operation portion. You know what? We're actually kind of... We, this might actually work out. It was looking a little bit dodgy further up, but oh my lord. <laughs> Thanks, tree. I asked for that. Um, I was looking a little dodgy earlier, um, where I didn't think we were going to make the, uh, the height at a 4% still. But uh, it's kind of looking like we actually might be able to. So... Some of these trees are not wanting to be deleted. They wish to conspire with the, the other tree that tried to throw me into the canyon. Oh, that is a super sharp curve through there if I were to follow the terrain all the way. So I guess we won't. Okay, remember how I was getting optimistic about making it really easily? I think we're gonna end up still a little tall. So we're gonna sneak around the backside, I think. Oh yeah, I've, that's gonna be a tight little section right there. All right. I think uh, the smelter is an interesting industry with interesting approaches, and I think it's probably going to merit its own episode. But I'll get down to the, the smelter floor here, the level that I want my groundwork to be at. And uh, call it there, and I'll, I'll lay the track real quick. <laughs> the rail's supported by the edge of the stone wall. It's fine, right? Okay, so I'm going to stop there, get these trees, and then I think I'm getting kind of close to my bridge deck up here. Um, and just like switches, um, I like to lay down the bridge decks first and then try to lay to them so that I get the best. Oh my goodness, look at that spaghetti. Uh, <laughs> get the best chance at connecting them. And uh, we're going to attempt to fix this thing that I've created over here. Oh my lord. It really was pretty much a straight shot, and we needed like one piece of curve in the bridge, and it just. It just. Oh. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a, a thing. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to. Yeah, see, that laid steeper for some reason. Okay, now, now, now see the original bridge? <laughs> Get rid of it, pretty much. It served its purpose, though. It made a good scaffold bridge for us to make a, a better looking bridge. That is kind of my technique for most of these things, is find a way to do it as fast as you can, as poorly as you can, and then come back and make it look better the second go around. And uh, it's worked for me, most part, so, you know. All right, let's not forget to lay half of our track this time. I like to imagine the BGs playing while you're running around as the conductor. <laughs> this is very, this is very narrow gauge feeling. I like it. This is cool. <laughs> Including the Super Mario piles of dirt. That's also very narrow gauge. Okay, so now we need to go correct the sins of this bridge. So this is somewhat... Um, other than the fact that uh, that's also a bridge. This is somewhat resembling the Georgetown Loop Railroad in Colorado. Georgetown Loop being a uh, originally DSP and P, I believe, and later Colorado and Southern Railroad, a uh, chunk of grade running from Georgetown to Silver Plume. And it's also 4% grade. It also features a big, prominent, curved trestle like this. And I think this, uh, this steel trestle might actually be modeled after that one. I can't remember. But uh, similar concept of we have too steep of a descent to have and too short of a space, so we just looped it in on ourselves. And the Georgetown Loop is the uh, 
the tourist railroad that now operates uh, over that trackage. It's a pretty cool ride. It's uh, just about an hour west of Denver, so definitely worth seeing if you can get there. All right, I think that was the bent that we need to get rid of. We can we could probably lay around that one, but this one was the one that was really obnoxious. I think we're gonna need. Oh yeah, <laughs> see, look, it's laid on it. the The steel bridge really just does not lay on any semblance of grade that makes any sense. Is what I'm learning here right now. I'll at least be able to report these findings back to boss man. Whoa! Right, no fall damage in the game, right? Whoa! Beautiful. Yeah, I think we're going to want to touch more space around that. We'll try and grab it and just replace this other section with it, I think. I just think it'll kind of look cool if the support is either like right on the wall or right on the edge. And then that'll actually help through here, too. Try to make things a little smoother. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna say that I'll worry about making this pretty later, uh, but knowing me, I probably won't ever get to it. So we'll just have to see. Okay, so we left our track here, and now we gotta lay it back up the rest of the way to the top of the hill. And I've got pretty tight clearances against some of these rocks, but uh, one fun fact about the Georgetown Loop is that they actually have some pretty tight clearances. They were only designed to operate small locomotives. Actually, the, the Cook Mogul that's in game would have been exactly what it would have run around uh, the Georgetown Loop. But uh, when they were getting it up and running, the, I believe it was the Historical Society of Colorado, I think they're called History Colorado now, actually owned K37491 uh, that's now at the Colorado Railroad Museum and owned and operated by the museum. But they originally got it from the Denver and Rio Grande Western back when the railroad was closing up. Um, they theoretically, the story that we've heard is that they asked for the uh, the best K-37 uh, to be given to them so that they could preserve it and hopefully operate it at the Georgetown Loop. And uh, apparently nobody had done the numbers to figure out that a K-37 is massive and was not going to fit through any of the cuts. <laughs> so they realized that the, the cost to fix the right of way to allow the K-37 to operate there was never going to work. And eventually in about 1985, I think it was, that the, uh, the Rio Grande said, hey, we want this choo-choo out of Alamosa. Can you please move it? And, uh, and so they said, hey, Colorado Railroad Museum, can, can you guys take this choo-choo off of our hands? And it was like, okay, yeah. Well, not take off our hands. It was more of a, can we display our choo-choo at your museum? And the, the museum agreed. And then uh, over time, it kind of deteriorated and looked worse and worse and worse and worse. And it wasn't uh, cared for. Uh, the museum asked if we could take ownership, you know, and that, that way we could maintain it how we wanted to. And History Colorado agreed. And shortly thereafter, it operated for the first time again so and my tool tip dealio just disappeared so i'm just gonna lay this stupid sharp and just run with it i think because that's what this curve is all right now we can start easing down the madness a little bit all right and i'm gonna end the bridge deck a little closer actually no what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna continue to run the bridge deck and then i think i'm gonna delete the last couple pieces okay that's not hideously bad and if i had to bet somebody was asking like what uh what curvature i use when i'm freehanding and obviously i was using the tool then but the the tool tip disappeared <laughs> um this is probably about a 30. It might be. I think it's up here. It's probably close to a 32 or a 34, but that's fine for the little choo-choos we have in the game right now. This is going to be pretty when it's done. I'm going to have to uh, clean up all of my groundwork for the first run. I really could have spent more time on this to make it pretty, but I'm trying to build a functional railroad. That That's kind of my thing. If it looks really pretty, that's... That's a bonus. I know that I'm saying that having purpose-built this rail, rail line for it to be pretty. 
Um, but I'm talking scenery, not the actual physical track. I want the track to be functional and not derail the trains. And But the, uh, the actual beauty of the, the handiwork itself is not necessarily as important so long as we stay on the track. But getting to run through cool scenery that a lot of people don't choose, I think that's that's more fun. I think we'll just try connecting that. Okay. I think we can live with that. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I have more groundwork to delete all the way down there. Um, I do have Betsy up here, so we'll do a we'll do an inspection roll by with Betsy, and go uh, delete what we need to delete, and then go down and uh, we'll meet the ES and D number two.